time again, everybody. We're gorping around. Welcome back to the show. This is Gorp. My name is Josh. We are here with a special guest from another show called Popcorn and Beers. It's a pretty good show. Check it out. It's on the same station. This is Jordan. Hello. Good to yeah, finally be man. on the show. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Uh, maybe we'll get you on a regular episode sometime, but we're going to do the segment we do once in a while where we just get to know people on the uh, network or whatever, the Sad Fan Network. Uh, find us on YouTube and other places, Twitter, whatever. So we're just going to ask you some dumb questions, find out how to get to know you, and uh, hopefully we'll be seeing more of you and people tune into Popcorn and Beers and yada, 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 yada. So we're going to start with the serious questions first, heavy, hard-hitting stuff. You ready? Uh-oh. Sure. Go for it. Number one, what's your problem? Oh, man. What isn't my problem? I don't know, man. I just feel like, you know, it's a lot of anger in the world. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying not to get back, give back sometimes what I get, you know? I feel like Ooh. everybody's just trying not to give back what they're getting all the time, which is, you know, a lot of confusion and anger. So, yeah. No lemons. We right want now. lemonade only. Yeah. That's, that's cool. my macro. That's my macro problem right now. Well, macro, big words around here. Uh, yeah. Okay. Number two of all the bad guy, super evil armies, mm -hmm. uh, Lord of the Rings or Star Wars or whatever, even the Kung mm -hmm. Fu movies, who has the coolest army or mob or thugs or whatever? Mm. This is a surprisingly easy answer for me. The Army of Darkness. The Army of Darkness. From Army of Darkness. Bruce Campbell. Yes. Bruce Campbell. That's, that's a wonderful answer. Yeah. 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 That's what great. What is your soul? <laughs> Wait, is that Evil Dead? I don't know. I think so. Oh, the Scary yeah. Lady in the Pit? Yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. That's I, that's that's perfect. Jace, mm -hmm. I don't even know how to top that. Deep cut. Yeah. Deep cut? Right on. Okay, well, Jordan, uh, what's okay? If you're gonna make a movie, there's you get the backing, you got the script, you just need someone to uh, sign off on it for the movie about you, your biopic. Mm. What's it gonna be called, and what is like the elevator pitch for making the movie take off the ground? Mm. The title of my movie. Wow, this is this is pretty sharp. Grown alone. Single. Say, say uh, Grown alone. Grown alone. That's great. Grown alone. Not home alone. Grown alone. Yeah. Because I was an only child mm -hmm. and I was a strange, a very strange only child. And, you know, it's just a lot of trying to compensate for a, a, a grown man trying to compensate for a very lonely childhood. Oh, dang. not sad. Not, not, not as sad as it sounds. Honestly, I had right. a very, I had a very fun happy fine childhood you know not not perfect nobody's as perfect mm -hmm. but you know just it's a coming of age well a i'm kind of old action. now i'm a little too old yes yes uh 90s latchkey kid for sure Ooh, um, yeah i would call it i would call it a mix of super bad with i don't know what's a what's a movie with a dorky smart ass kid that's endearing but also Dennis kind the of Menace. a jerk but also kind of a jerk peter pan yeah. Shank Redemption. <laughs> yes <laughs> all of those combined that's my pitch <laughs> you combine peter pan shawshank redemption and dennis the menace super yeah. bad go make that movie <laughs> green light it I was, I was thinking with your with your title "Grown Alone." I was thinking, you yeah. know, home alone scenario, but it's just one person trapping himself, like for no reason, just total masochism, like walking into a wall. Uh, like he has this this trap house that he makes this house full of booby traps that he just sets on himself somehow. Maybe he does a forget me now pill, and then he wakes up the next day. That'd be pretty cool. Put yourself in an escape room without your knowledge of how to get out. That'd be anyway. Whoa. Okay, cool. Well, as we've discussed, you're on our show, Pop and Beers, Popcorn and Beer. Um, find it on Twitter at Popcorn and Beer. Uh, what do you? Th what are your thoughts on the show as we're like getting to a season two transition? And um, what do you like about the show? What's maybe a 
well, let's just go with that first. What do you like about the show? How's it been? Oh man, it's great. I love, I love having an excuse, like a real, like not even excuse, but like, no, I have to make time to go see this movie this week for the show, you know, because yes. I love going to the movies anyway. I'll go Truly. by myself. I, I do go by myself all the time. Mm -hmm. People make fun of me for it. I don't care. Yeah. I enjoy my own company. I enjoy my own silent company. Yes. So I love, I just love having that validation to where like, no, I have to go see this movie and it's for a reason, you know? That's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like it gives me I, movies. I learn my best through mm -hmm. watching movies, you know? Yeah. I retain so much through watching movies. So yeah. I just feel, I always have something to talk about, mm -hmm. you know? And this, and this is what I'm taking away from the show, still doing it, you know, but actually as far as just the show, you know, meeting, meeting you, meeting new friends, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, getting to connect with my uh, cousin, Fry is my cousin. Um, we haven't talked all that much, you know, a pretty big age difference and he's a very busy guy. I got my own mm -hmm. stuff going on. Um, so yeah, you know, just getting to connect new friends um, and getting to talk with fellow movie nerds. You know, totally, a lot dude. of people, I have a few, a couple family members that, you know, are, we, we can just fire off these quotes and, and, and pull these actors out of this, out of the, the ether. Mm -hmm. Like, Oh, you're talking about this obscure guy yeah. that I yeah. know. So it's cool to like have people that, you know, we could, we, we get along. We know these things. We vibe on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. that's really cool. I, I feel that. And yeah, it is. It has been a pleasure to meet you and get to talk to you once a week and we get to some real issues, you know, and real movie topics. And yeah, it's wonderful. You're right, though, like, especially maybe, maybe especially being latchkey kids or whatever. You get mm. it's like cable guy. I learned the facts of life from the facts of life, you know, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's there's truth to that. You get your your moral uh, compass. <laughs> you get your uh, you, you can start to work out some philosophical things in yourself. And you can keep yeah. that going. And this, that's why we have stories in the first place, to examine the condition of being human mm. and what that means and blah, blah, blah. But I also like when you say going to the movies alone is like a treat. I totally mm -hmm. feel that, dude. I used yeah. to, when I was in my early 20s, maybe 19, um, I worked at Chili's and I always just went to work like four hours early because there was a movie theater across the street. So I'd go see a movie, then go to work and, or vice versa. And I went by myself mm. and it's just, it's just actually kind of incredible. And I've done that yeah, many great. times since I like going to restaurants by myself and you know, it's always nice to have company, but sometimes you just gotta be alone for a while. And it feels really cool to just take care of yourself and be with in your own company. That's a, a mm -hmm. treasure. Not a lot of people really even know is there. Some people are just terrified of being alone. It's oh yeah, I know, dude. I'll, I'll go, I could I could go to like a, a full on dinner restaurant mm -hmm. and have dinner by myself <laughs> and be totally comfortable. You know, totally. It's like it's like if you don't enjoy your own company, do you, how can you expect other people to enjoy your company? You know, for sure, dude. And it's it's right. actually one of my favorite pastimes is to like go right. downtown somewhere. And, you know, eat somewhere in the afternoon and walk around, catch a movie, yeah. whatever it is, just all by myself, mm. or like maybe some headphones in sometimes. Anyway, mm. uh, that's wonderful. I had no idea you and Fry were cousins. I just knew you were family friends or something. So that's oh, cool, really, too. Yeah. We are first cousins, <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. Okay. Taking baths together and stuff. Um, <laughs> last week. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so getting on to, you say, uh, pulling names out of hats and stuff and, like, picking movies let's try to do a six degrees of separation thing okay so within six movies you have to link idris oh elba and eddie murphy that's oh my hard god yeah okay idris Just elba like... Go ahead. is in i'm just gonna try i'm just gonna start linking these and just try here okay yeah 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 Idris Elba was in a movie called Beast, where he fought a crazy lion in Africa. Okay. And Eddie Murphy was the Prince of Zamunda, which is a fictional place in Africa. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Zamunda. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, that's that's, that's cool. Be a record. I like. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not exactly how the game goes. Yeah, you have, you have to know, find, but it's. it's Good enough. Um, 
<laughs> I do like that though, where you catch a you catch a face in a movie and you like go through their whole filmography in your head, and then you're like, oh crap, that's one of my favorite things about popcorn and beers, is because we we all are watching whatever movies we want to watch, with the exception of two that we watch together, and. <laughs> So often, for no reason, we just catch, like, oh, we watched, like, 10 Brad Pitt movies without even knowing it. And then all mm-hmm. these movies have Christian Slater or whatever. And then, oh, this movie had Christian Slater. This just happened in the last episode where you had, like, more than two actors who were um, in movies that we watched, like, two or three weeks ago. And yeah. we, you mentioned Ethan, not Ethan Hawk. Who's the Hobbit? Frodo. Elijah Wood. Proto Elijah Wood, yeah. Yeah, you mentioned Elijah Wood and Yellow Jackets, and I was just thinking, oh, Elijah Wood's incredible. I started thinking about all the movies he's doing. And by the way, I'm not sure if you've seen Dirk's Dirk Gently, a holistic detective. It's one no. of the greatest shows ever made. One of the greatest shows ever made. Unfortunately, it got canceled, really? so there's only two seasons. But Elijah Wood's the main character or the the, the partner character. And it's it's one of his master performances. But I was okay. thinking about uh, some Sin City. Maybe that's what I picked for us all to watch together. Maybe this, maybe that Green Street Hooligans. Uh, mm. Hook or not? No, Huck. It was Huck, right? That was his I movie. He was Huck Finn. He played Huck Finn Never at a very young that. age. It was good. All right. I think. I don't remember. I like, I like, I like me some in Elijah Wood. Yeah. Mr. Frodo. Elijah Wood. Mr. Frodo. Mr. No, Frodo. Sam. Sam. Dude. The Clerks 2 ruined the Lord of the Rings for me. Kind of just tangent on that. <laughs> Clerks 2, dude. Just, yeah. just, to, just, shat, just shat all over it. But anyways. Yeah, there's something about Kevin Smith, even when his movies age poorly, and it's like, oh, the, this is weird. Like, there's always some gold nugget in there about pop culture, because that's yeah. what Kevin Smith does. Um, yeah, there we go. I, I there didn't we like go movie Clerks nerding. Too. Yeah, movie nerding. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like Clerks 2? Did you say you didn't like Clerks 2? No, I liked it when it came out. I'm oh. not sure it's it's not a good movie, but like there's so many parts know. of it that are that are very entertaining. S- super quotable. Um, very quotable stuff, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's change uh change topics now. We're going to get into some food cuz we recently talked about the uh, sa- sauces on Gorp. Mm. So we're going to mm-hmm. get into the um your answer for the five finger condiment question. Yeah, five fingers. From mm. each finger shoots an infinite amount of a condiment, some kind of sauce. Mm. Infinite amount. Um, it doesn't really matter about placement, but the thing is you can't have any other kind of sauce for the rest of your life. You have to pick these five that you have infinite access to. Okay. What's your picks? Okay, quick question. If it's hot sauces, does it have to be individual or can it just is it broad like hot sauce? See, that's a big question. You can't just be <laughs> hot sauce. It can't just be hot sauce. Okay. 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 Fair enough. But then I get into like there's certain hot sauces that are good for eggs and certain sauces that are better for other things. So like maybe your mm-hmm. hot sauce button can be two different kinds mm-hmm. of hot sauce. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh. Okay. Ranch dressing. Yes. Is one. Ranch dressing. Tapatio. Nice. Is two. Tapatio. I would go Cholula, um, but I got you. Yeah, there's some. Hey, it, I feel good. like you're a fan of. You're a real huge fan of one or the other. You like both of them, but I you're like either both just of a, them. a big fan of yeah. one or the other. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know if you know La Victoria Taco Sauce. Yes. Delicious. You know what I'm talking about? The Vic- yeah. Victoria brand. Mm-hmm. Yes, that, that reminds I can drink me of, uh, that Pato, out of a bottle. Can. You know, the can of El Pato? Yes. Yes. Similar. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that's my two hot sauces. Let me get away from hot sauce there. Okay, so that's one finger, though. pick all five You got two hot sauces. Honestly. Now, oh, then you get ranch. So we got the two hot sauces and ranch. Now you got three more. Three more. Okay. Ketchup. Sorry, I know <sighs> you guys. Somebody on the show has a beef with ketchup. Everybody has a beef with ketchup, I guess. But ketchup is good. Yeah. But we've Sorry. ruled out that ketchup is good, period. I mean, there's nothing you can say about it. Yeah. Sorry. Not- Sorry, not sorry. Uh, yeah. God, another hot sauce. Frank's Red Hot Buffalo really? Sauce. Wow. Okay. Frank's Red Hot Buffalo Sauce. Yeah. I eat hot sauce on everything. Breakfast, okay, but lunch, now you're dinner, focusing pretty hard. You have, you have one more pick. Okay. And, and you have to yeah. think about pasta. Okay, Let's think about soup. Think about bread. This is it. Oh. Soup is a sauce? I mean, if you want to put some sauce, like hot sauce. Okay, okay hot sauce nice. is covered. 
But I'm just thinking about all the different kinds of food you can eat. Breakfast foods. Okay. You know, syrup could be one. You know what I mean? I'm Nacho cheese. I'm, st I'm still, I'm sticking with my four. Wait, three? Four. four three, four. Um, ketchup. Alfredo sauce. Alfredo okay. sauce. Yeah, creamy, cheesy. That's good. A good, a good That's what's up. A good Alfredo, yeah. Nice. I, um, I, I, I wasn't thinking about it hard, and I just kind of blurted stuff out when I did it. I, I regret not saying mm. salsa, even though I did say chimichurri, but like just good old fashioned hot salsa is that should have been on my fingers, mm. but it wasn't. You know what I mean? Blended or yeah. chunky? I go either way, baby. As long as it's got the powder in it, the chili powder and green, green chilies, and it's just got that juice, I'm good. I don't care if it's I don't care if it's pico. I like Nile, honestly. I like blended too, though. I'm yeah. a blended guy. No. Yeah. I like it both ways. <laughs> uh, cool. So um, going back to some poppy, corny beers and uh, how you're feeling mm -hmm. about Sad Fan in general. You've been on the show. It's It's got to be over six months now, right? We well, started seems in like, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, January, sure. maybe December. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, how are you feeling about, like, being on the show? And, like, do you have any – what would you change if you could? Maybe there's, like, a segment. Mm -hmm that you might think about we maybe we can do a segment like this where we all watch one actor or something like that anything in mind and then furthermore can you think of any rating of a movie that you want to change you redact you know what i mean like oh uh, this isn't as good as i said it was or something like that off the top of my head no mm -hmm. i can't think of anything i'd change because there's just yeah. there's been so many there's, there's been, been so, so many, many. Yeah, it's it's hard. Yeah, I don't have a list in front of me of even what I watch. So. Right, right. But I what my an idea I have my pitch. If we were all making pitches to that, I think more we should do some crossovers. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean like me or you guest starring on. Well, I mean you're pretty much on every show, but guest you know me doing a a cameo or appearance on one show, but like a a popcorn and gorp or like a sad fan in beers, you know, like. Pop gorp actual, and beer. Yes. Pop gorp and beer. Yes. <laughs> like actual, like real, real collision, you know. Um, Kalishnikov. No collisions. Collision, yeah. Yeah, like collisions. Yeah. Um, that'd be great. I think that'd be, that'd be, that'd be funny. Some good stuff there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think it, in a lot of ways, it all comes down to time. I would love to have Brooke on every yeah. show. Brooke is like the, the Riz right now. You know what I mean? In my opinion. Mm. Um, and I'd love to have you on a regular old Gorp episode too soon. You know, it's just a matter sure. of like how much time we have to give and all that stuff. Uh, mm. We're making moves around here at the Sad Fan and trying our best and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, uh, so here's a question I asked Fry. And uh, it's going kind of in the – going back to the first question with the bad guys and stuff. What do you think mm. is the coolest, like, costume? What's the one that really stands out in your mind in a movie or a show? Um, or? Instantly what comes to mind is Killmonger and Black Panther. Billmonger, top to bottom, his costume the suit and the skin, and yeah, yeah that yeah. The, the mask, yeah. original mask that you had, yeah, to, yeah he was a yes. well-designed villain for sure. Yes, all time thinking back on it, I mean, I'm I'm going heavy Marvel here, but just not done well back in its time. But Spawn, Spawn, Spawn is was... an awesome looking character. Yeah, well, he's not Marvel, by the way. But um, is he? He's not. No, he's Image Comics. He's the he's the result of all the Marvel writers and artists leaving Marvel and making their own company. He's the first guy, the first character they made like flagship dude for Image Comics. Same as Invincible. They... Invincible is also Image Comics. Oh. And Savage Dragon, you remember him? No, I don't ever heard of Savage Dragon. Hmm. But I don't. Didn't were they making a Spawn movie? Uh, someone someone did make a Spawn movie, and it was the Black Dynamite who was the star, Michael J. White. Right? No, um, no, no, no. Of course, with John Leguizamo and yeah, all that. But I'm saying, weren't they making a new one? I think they were, but it or maybe they are. I'm not sure. There's always, I'm sure it's always going to be in talks because Spawn is a mm -hmm. huge title. I'm pretty sure there's one coming, but it's not Marvel. It's right. separate. It'll probably be Sony or something that makes okay. it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for to see that because Spawn gets really dark, and he he's like the the Punisher if Punisher had godlike powers, and the villains are not just like the Joker; they're evil, nasty, mm -hmm. 
they go to hell immediately after this scene type of thing. You know what I mean? Pedos and stuff. Yeah. It's awful. Anyway, yeah, uh, Spawn, pretty cool. Oh, getting back into that with uh, movies that are weird. Have you thought of like a classic, a drunk classic? Excuse me. Have you thought of a drunk classic that you've been on the fence about whether or not you should put it in front of the uh, in front of us? Like, uh, I really want, I really want to make Fry watch an anime, but I'm not sure mm. I found just the right one yet. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Um, like ones potentially that I have that I want to do, like on my mm-hmm. wish list. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a couple that I just don't know how they fit into the scheme of the show. Like, it's mm-hmm. just a little, it, maybe like it's just a little nostalgic for me, you know, and I'm like, uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like Uzi cars. Specifically. Yes, exactly. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Um, that was a product of just trying to be topical, okay? Anyway, no, dude, it worked out. I'm glad we watched yeah. it. You know what I mean? I was yeah, yeah, joking yeah. about the offensive. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a movie, a specific one. So I'll just throw it out there because I'll probably never actually pick it. But it's just a movie that I love. And being a history major in college, I'm a history nerd. So there's a movie called Almost Heroes with Chris Farley and Matthew Perry, where oh. it's a parody on Lewis and Clark. I heard and... that's really like good in its own way. Yeah, it's super goofy as, you know, it's Chris Farley goofy. It's just Chris Farley yeah. shining yeah. hard. That's definitely one that I wish I could pull off, but I just, I don't see it fitting, but I just, I highly recommend watching that movie. I don't um, see that let me see. so far out. No? I watch that. Okay. Uh, I mean, Chris Tuck- Farley, God's... right? Yeah, I thought a couple. Tucker and Dale versus Evil is one. Yeah. If you've never seen, have you seen that? Please tell me. No, seen I've that. I've been begged to watch it, and I just never found the time. Oh, so I'll, I'll put great. it on my list. Tucker versus yeah, Evil. Yeah, Steve the yeah. Pirate. Steve the Pirate's great. Oh wait, uh, no, I've seen that. I was thinking about the other one. Uh, dies at the end was the title. Someone dies at the end. I forgot the name. Like Jake uh, dies okay. at the end. But yeah, Tucker versus <laughs> Evil is incredible. Yeah, it's God, one of the it. best movies ever. And that reminds me, <laughs> almost one of my suggestions is coming up for sure. But this Tucker versus Evil really reminded me of Slither. Have you seen Slither? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so yeah. that's going to yeah. be coming soon. I'm not sure when. Uh, anyway. and, you know, the rest of them, the rest of them, I think I could get in there eventually. But those are two no. that I don't know how they fit. But maybe yeah. one day. Maybe one day. Uh, also, uh, Nicholas, my brother, is on Gorp sometimes. And uh, he listens to the, all the shows best he can. And he really wants me to make fry watch a musical like a really long bad mm. one you know what i mean okay are you into okay. musicals i forgot i'm not I'm really not, there's a few that I, I like but not many i'm not into musicals at all but that's right i would say i hate i don't know i just musicals are always kind of a lot yeah i like i need the music to actually be good like catchy like that's part of like it. yep lyrics lyrics that actually like it's not just talking singing mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's not talking melodically it's like an actual like a song that fits into the story okay so that's okay so that's like um like a rock opera is kind of what you're talking about and hamilton's similar where like there's yes. almost there's like no hamilton. dialogue oh yeah hamilton i liked it too i, I listened to yeah. hamilton an embarrassing amount of times on spotify and then <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about like multiple years. It was the top of my this year. You played this many on Spotify. I watched, listened to so much Hamilton. It's embarrassing. Sometimes they they don't actually have dialogue to fit, but Hamilton's not a good example of that because it was. I I loved it. Fry hated it. Who cares? Um, Look, I have a very I have a very shallow uh, collection of mm-hmm. musicals I've watched. So let me just give you my three musicals. That okay. I can stand off the top of my head that I like. Hercules, the animated Hercules. Oh, yes. Animated Hercules. Great, great song. I songs. can go the distance. Yeah. Yep. I won't say I'm in love. Da 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 da. Great. Fantastic. Beautiful. Mulan. Mm-hmm. Animated Mulan. Mm-hmm. Again, we're staying Disney animated. And then um, you know, I'm gonna catch some flack for this. Say what you want. Super underrated musical, but just a product of its time, and you just had to be there. You had to be that age. High School Musical. 
Yeah, you're right. You had to be that. You had to be there in that moment. There's no <laughs> way. There's no way yeah. I would enjoy that movie. I've never seen uh, it. But I've seen some clips, it's just, and it's like, whoa. It's not that I enjoyed the movie so much. It's just the impact it had and the careers yeah. it propelled. And the yeah. music is still in the ethos. Like you still hear some of those songs sometimes. It's still it's still referenced. Mm -hmm. So on that grounds, yes, High School Musical is in there. For sure. Well, that okay. Now we're talking about time and place and stuff. Um, I'm not yeah. sure if this counts exactly the same, but Rocky Horror. You seen that bad boy? Mm, I've never seen it. I really want to see it. I really do. Okay. Well, um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a classic soon then, because I know Fry will hate it, and uh, you might. But it's it's rock opera at the peak of disco, seventies rock and roll, meatloaf. I mean, all of it was. Mm. It's it's really weird though, and I would suggest you just go see it. But also go see it live. I'm not. Have you heard about the live yeah. shows they do? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, where like the I crowds have. participating and stuff. Like I went mm. to a small theater on Halloween. They watched it, and like the whole crowd has these lines that they throw in, and there's props and like it's a very awesome. involved show. And there's a intermission where they do crowd participation stuff and there's actors they're, mm. they're showing the movie but there's actors playing out the scenes in front of the screen so you're watching a live and a movie at the same time that's um, cool it was that's really awesome. really awesome and it's all about just you know lgbtq pride month yeah. yeah and it's it's wacky weird transsexuals from outer space and man it's, it's nice. something else. <laughs> nice. Fry's gonna. I'm picking that next time. Is around. there such thing? I'm a horror. I'm a horror fan nerd. Is there such thing? Is there? I mean, Rocky Picture Horror Show. Obviously, other than that, like where it's actually a little more horror. Is there like a good horror musical? Isn't the one with the Besides plant? Rocky. The little the shop plant of horrors. Alive, shop of horror. Isn't that? I haven't seen it. Isn't that horrorish? Like a love horror opera. Hmm. I'm gonna watch that. I'm gonna make that a, a then, task um, to watch that this week. There's also something you might look into called Jekyll and Hyde, and that is famously done by Hasselhoff, oh, actually. I got um, one. I was in a production of that, actually, and I played, like, Dr. Jekyll's best friend. And there's horror aspects of it, but it, I don't know. I don't know if it's scary. I've got one that I haven't seen, actually, so I'm going to try to watch this, too, is uh, Sweeney Todd. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a good one, actually. The, the I, I've heard... It's the movie's not even close to the live performance. I haven't seen the live stuff, but the movie's very Tim Burton. I think it's the most Tim Burton, mm. even more than Nightmare. Oh, Nightmare Before Christmas is kind of spooky. That's a musical. Huh. Oh, oh, of course. Yeah, that's no, definitely. Um, yeah. I have a cut. I have a cousin that insists that Lay Le Mis is one of like mm -hmm. the best movies of all time. It's good. Um, I tr I tried to, and even being a history guy, mm -hmm. as I mentioned. I can't watch it. I can't. Really? Really. It's that thing. It's that thing where they're talking, singing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's a great example of it where like Jean Valjean is like giving his whole life story and talking about yeah. now I'm going to be a better man. And like, there's, yeah. they're just like, give me a chorus. Can I have a chorus, please? <laughs> yeah. Could, like, yeah you. could this just be regular dialogue? But I anyways. feel you. But um, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I do love Les Mis. It's, it's, I've, I've cried every time I watch the movie. But I feel you. Uh, yeah. Anyway, that's a lot of uh, musical talk. Uh, mm -hmm. I guess we're coming up on time. That's been the interview. Now we know everything there is to know about you. Why don't you s just finish up with like a last word, maybe like uh, hidden talents or something, huh? What's something stupid you can hidden do? Hidden talents. Oh, gosh. Um, I used to rap. I'm not going to. <laughs> don't ask me to. But... Yeah, that was a, that was a phase in my life where I was yeah. actually pretty good. I did some shows, yeah. some live shows, oh, where some with some very prominent Bay Area and slightly underground artists. Yeah, that's that was a fun time. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm double jointed and I can spin my arm in a full circle like Exorcist style, called my Exorcist arm, and I do that to gross people out sometimes. So that's pretty fun. Yeah, that was a cool Equally parlor cool. trick. That was a cool parlor trick. I know, you know, it's just something interesting. <laughs> I That's actually won, yeah, I won a Guitar Hero tournament uh, in, the, in the middle of the San Francisco Mall. 
and That's gotten awesome. a gamer magazine and gotten a gamer magazine and stuff. Just just walking around San Francisco through the mall, some guy with a clipboard was like, hey, man, do you play Guitar Hero? And I was like, absolutely. And he's like, would you like to be in this competition right now? We need a guy. And I just cold walked into it and won. Whoa. I which song? I wish song I wish I knew which song it was cuz I would that'd be fantastic if I could but I and it's on like hard setting they didn't go expert sped up like you know okay, some okay. guitar just the, real the guitar real Yeah yeah just a hard mode and I 100%ed the song didn't That's miss a single note pretty stinking cool dude and I won it I won a brand new copy of like Guitar Hero 6 or something when it came out um didn't hadn't been released yet and I had it so Awesome. That's cool thing. Real yeah. dope. Guitar yeah, hero, yeah. dude. Would you support a guitar hero movie and who's gonna be the lead? Absolutely. Oh man. Who would be the lead in a guitar hero movie? I mean, who Tom would Holland. be the lead? Not the one I like, I was gonna say like Chalamet or Tom Holland. Because <laughs> <laughs> they'll be Chalamet, obviously. Yeah. You know what? Hmm, nah, maybe it wouldn't work. But like if it was like a British grungy. Mm-hmm. He's just too a little. He's just a little too beefcake. But like Tom Hardy, he's too old. Could have a part. Yeah, he's too old. Okay. Um, you know who I'd pick actually is uh, mm-hmm. the dummy kid from Banshees of Inisherin. He was also in Green Green Knight. That kid, Barry Keown. Yeah, he'd be perfect at being the guitar. Yes, guy. I love that. I like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. We just made it. Uh, Make the movie. Let's start writing the uh, script. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. That's what's up. This has been the Gorp Show, uh, getting to know the cast, Sad Fan uh, Podcast Network. Uh, we'll have a regular episode coming up soon. It's just been, uh, it's been, it's been, uh, it's been real. It's been cool. It's been funky. Mm-hmm. Nice to meet you, Jordan. Where can we reach you, man? Uh, my Twitter is at Rodez at R O underscore D E Z. It's my mm-hmm. it's an homage to my old rap name. So don't look up my rap stuff anyway. I'm making it all private soon. I've got a career that I've got to focus on, <laughs> and I can't have I can't have that I can't have that out in the ether anymore because some of it you know it's a little not appropriate. So at Rodez, but also at Popcorn and Beers, no D or and Beer, Popcorn and Beer on Twitter. Um, I'm on his Instagram, Facebook, wherever you find me. Say hello. Say hello. All right, guys. Uh, <laughs> keep on gorping along. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs>